just took, oh, wait, maybe, maybe it's happening. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, now it's streaming live on Facebook. Oh, it's already there? Wow, Liz, look at you, real time. <laughs> well, I'm just looking at the, yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey, we did it. Hi, baby. Hi. I love Hi, it. Nicole. Hi, Marty. <laughs> So fun. Okay, Marty, I'm so sorry that your friend was not able to. I'll keep an eye on the waiting room. Pop on, yeah. and see, um, if okay. Oh wait, maybe maybe it's happening. Okay, let me mute that. I just want to. I'll have the comments pulled up in case um anybody has any questions um while we are sharing. Let me get us all set up here. Okay, yay, we okay. did it, guys. Okay, ladies, so sorry. I know we had said 8.30, but we had some technical issues and we are so excited to be here with you tonight. Um, so are, they, are, are they hour behind us or ahead? They're an hour ahead? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, I just said the the Eastern time. Liz, okay. I'm really trying to confuse everyone. <laughs> How am I doing? So the Texas people are 7.30 and you all are 8.30. Right. Which Guys is now, are 8.30 and us all are something like that. So it's now 9 o'clock and 8 o'clock, right? I love it. I love it. Well, Daisy and I were talking. We will, um, we want to show you as many things as we can. Um, but we will try to keep it concise um, just for the gals who can't be here live. I think sometimes when the rewatch is too long, um, then ladies are, <laughs> are less likely to watch it. So we'll try to keep it um, to 20 to 25 minutes. But we are mm -hmm. so excited to show you some beautiful jewelry, accessories, bags, and share some inspiring stories. Daisy, do you want to kick us off and then... I think um, I had asked Marty if she'd be up for just sharing a little bit about why she wanted to partner with New Day. Okay, so I will just tell you a little bit about myself and why I decided to also um, become a New Day ambassador. And I have um, lived in Ohio now for 14 years from Texas. And of course, Texas is still near and dear to my heart and my family is still there. Um, and one of the main reasons that I started New Day here in the last month, because it's only been one month that I have been right. doing, doing it and I've had so much fun already. And I've already grown um, just in my love for getting to know more about fair trade and what it means and how it's supporting other women. But I moved from Honduras when I was about six years old, and that was because my mom paved the way to get us here. Um, she came to America first and then went back to get us. And so she reminds me of these women that we are supporting from around the world. And now she's in a different stage of life. And I want to also support her from a different perspective in making um, a, you know, a legacy in her name for our girls as well as for women around the world. So um, I decided to jump in and, and continue to share this vision because really every year I was partnering with Nicole um, in hosting something at least once, if not twice a year. And through COVID, I have had the best time hosting with Nicole Hi, Shannon, um, because we were able to raise money for women that had small businesses, women who were going through cancer, women who just needed to be supported during COVID time. A lot of my friends are women with small businesses and, you know, they were suffering and a lot of them were photographers too. So they didn't have a whole, you know, a lot of work at that time. So I had a great time doing that. And as this year kind of rolled around and um, I started to see in the last few years of, of my mom's life that she was needing even more care um, and more support 
I just thought it was a good time for me to start thinking about, you know, helping in a different way for her as well. And then it, of course, she reminded me of women around the world who want to do just that. They want to help their children. They want to love them. They want to leave a legacy for their children. So I'm excited that you came and that you um, have been supporting Marty in so many different ways, uh, you know, on Facebook, off of Facebook, getting to be with her live list. That's so much fun. Um, every time that I got to be with Marty, we always had a really great time. She is so kind and her hospitality is so sweet. So um, I'm excited you get to be there with her. Did I miss anything? Um, no, that was no, I didn't say anything else. Oh, that was great. That was great. Um, and if you are watching us live on Facebook, um, feel, for, feel free to say hello. We would love to know that you're here. Um, if you have questions um, during our time together or you want to see any pieces up close, please let us know. I will try to keep an eye on those comments. Um, Shannon, like um, Daisy said, welcome. We're so excited that you're here with us tonight. Um, so what I thought we would do is um, I'd love to hear from Marty just a little bit about why she wanted to partner with Noonday. And then I am going to kind of highlight some pieces from the different categories of our collection. And Daisy's gonna let me know um, if you asked for anything particular. Um, and then we will wrap up. And if anybody has any questions, um, they can leave those in the comments as well. Okay, Marty, all you. Okay, um, hi ladies and um, Daisy, I just um, love your story and how, um, just that you have decided to become an ambassador um, so that you could support your mama and be, you know, um, a role model to your little girls. And, and then um, as I've gone through the past few days and watched the stories of all these ladies, um, oh, it's just, I can't believe, I just love the process of how they reach into the most broken the broke, most broken places and they pull these women out of just horrific, um, you know, um, situations. And um, I mean, this is their livelihood and they're able to do something that they're proud of. And um, so that's very touching. <laughs> I mean, I only watched a few of the stories and then I was watching one where um, it was in Africa where they took the bullets and they made right. the jewelry, I mean, from the streets, and then they made the jewelry pieces. Hi, Jill. Oh, this Hi. is, I'm sorry, I just saw Jill hop on, and this is my yeah, great, so great friend. I love it. Oh, I'm about ready to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was always so sweet and great school, and um, always had a smile on her face, so good to see you. And we Hi. were just, Hi. Hi, Jill. Uh, we, and Shannon's on there, too, but we can't see her right now, so. Um, but we were just talking about some of the stories this week. If you've had a chance to, if, if you haven't had a chance to listen to some of the stories, they're, they're short stories and, but just so impactful. And it just shows the mission of, of Noonday is just mm -hmm. incredible. Um, how they reach into the lives of these women, um, and some men, correct? Yeah. That are really yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it just gives them gives them a, a, a livelihood and gives them um an opportunity to um provide for their families and we have it so good here in, good here in the U.S. as we all know um right and just to be a part of that and and then I, Daisy and I are good friends so um I, I was just like, I'm going to host this for her right away. I'm her first hostess and we yes. had a few, a few glitches, but we just giggle through it. <laughs> She's been patient with me this week with the technology because I'm not that generation, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we're put together, we're put together with the right people. Yeah. At the right time. Right. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. So she just encouraged, she's very patient with me and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> 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 but um, so, but Nicole, you can share more about Noonday and I think, yeah. So thanks for letting me discuss why I, I became a hostess. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you. Yeah. yeah I, I, 
I bought these earrings. I think I wear them with every, I got these earrings from Daisy. uh, I love those. With her launch party. And I think I wear them with every single outfit. They were light. And I never thought I would love them so much. (laughs) They're really versatile. Yeah, they are. They're really versatile. Okay, let me know if you all have any trouble hearing me. Um, But I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. Um, thanks for sharing that, Marty. You know, anytime someone um, partners with Noonday as a hostess, they are creating a global marketplace. And in turn, they are able to advocate for artisans around the world. Um, so I would absolutely love to highlight some pieces tonight. Um, I actually have another teammate that I'm helping with a live event this evening as well. So if I have to hop off, and we're all still hanging out, I will just make um, Daisy the one in charge and you guys can continue chatting. Um, So Daisy, I know that you had mentioned um, a couple pieces that people had asked about. Do you want to start there? Was it these gallery stacked? Was that the first one? Okay, so these are absolutely beautiful. These candy colored stacked bracelets. Um, they are hand carved. Um, I love the color of them. Um, they are a fun pop of color, but they have enough white and gray. If you can see, um, they're really kind of, you can have them like be a little more versatile and neutral as well. Um, so I love our bracelets because you can wear them alone or you can wear them stacked with other bracelets that you have at home. So these are the gallery stacked with these sweet little squares. But then newer in our collection, we have our build your own bracelet bar. And so these are hand blown glass in India. So they are super soft to wear, um, but they have this um, really vibrant color. You purchase them in a set of three. um, So you can mix and match and really curate your look. So I love those as kind of the bright, colorful bracelets. Uh, Daisy, were there any other specific pieces? Otherwise, I'll just kind of highlight things from different categories. Um, I think that somebody had mentioned the barrettes okay. too. Right. And then of course we can see your headband on, which Marty is a huge headband oh. gal. So yeah. I love that, yeah. that you're wearing. We'll start with hair accessories. So yes, I'm wearing the Lush headband. It is this gorgeous green with this really sweet pattern. And I love the knot at the top, just gives it a little more, um, I think of a darling look. I wear this all the time. Um, I like to wear it maybe if my hair isn't the cleanest, it kind of just like ties the look together. I'm sure you guys never do that, but I do that sometimes. Uh, (laughs) Right, I'm the only one. Um, this the, the, no. the, the Fet headband is currently on sale. Um, this is a crushed velvet. I think a lot of time it's my Wi-Fi from Vietnam. That gorgeous red, and then on the inside, if you can see, um, there's this beautiful traditional Hmong fabric. Um, that lines the inside of the headband. And this one is currently on sale. Um, Then we have our beautiful earth tone hair clips. So these come in a set of three. Um, I just love these. They're beautiful on their own, or even you can stack all three together kind of in the side of your hair and they're really beautiful. Um, Are they okay for fine hair? Do they clip enough, tight enough? I don't have fine hair, but that has been asked all over our ambassador page. And they're like, yes, yes. It like really like grabs hair. Yeah, I put it on, I put it on my girls. I put them on the girls too. And they have pretty fine hair. Good to know. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, So yes, and that is one, um, trend that we're really seeing is hair accessories, probably because so many of us are on virtual gatherings, right? On Zoom and otherwise. So we're seeing a huge surge in 
hair accessories, and then also statement earrings. So I would love to highlight a few statement earrings. That's really what people are seeing, right? When we're on these mm -hmm. <laughs> Zoom yeah. calls, they're seeing mm -hmm. your earrings. So these are some of my all-time favorites. They are a large statement earring, but they are incredibly light. These are the Crescent Moon Hoops. I love that they are lined with gold. And then the bottom is this hand woven silver wire. So you can wear them with all of your mixed metals. They are almost weightless. I don't even know that I'm wearing them, um, but they're a really fun and bold style while also being really neutral. Those are pretty. Thank you. Very pretty, I love those. I wear these a lot, Jill. They are so much fun. And I always get compliments on these when I wear them. And it's nice. They are gorgeous. They really go with everything. Um, if you like kind of a middle of the road statement earring, I love our monument earrings. Um, so these are hand carved bone. Um, and they are, um, I just love this gray color. Again, they're incredibly lightweight. I wish I could just hand them to you through the screen. Um, but I love the gray color because again, it's so neutral and it just goes with everything. Love those. I think you would like the monument earring. Can you put, uh, hold those up one more time? Oh, I will. You know I will, Marty. <laughs> And do you think Liz girl would be pretty in those ones? Because oh, they're light. She likes to use them also. And they're really, yeah, they're, they're really neutral. neutral. Yeah. Okay. Well, this look good on you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Know, look, I, we're saying Jill will look good with the headband on too. I don't know if she ever wears them. Occasionally. Because when my hair was, um, I had a pixie. And so when, when it was shorter, I would put the headband on and it just adds. No, it's really cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it too. Okay. Um, another fun um, statement earring. I'll do one more. Um, these are our candid hoops. And these are a really fun oh. pop of color. These are individually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jill, you're fun. Um, these are individually <laughs> hand rolled paper beads. So they're mm. made from recycled paper in Uganda and they are just a really fun, you can see really fun pop of color. Mm -hmm. Are they lightweight? Incredibly lightweight. Like they feel weightless. I mean oh you my don't God. Really know um, that you're wearing them. I absolutely love them. So those are some of my favorite um, statement earrings. Um, and if there are other pieces um, that you find you're like, oh, I just would love to see those more up close. You just let me know and we can always post some more pictures. Yeah. Um, okay. Y'all can't see Shannon, but she has gorgeous red, reddish blonde hair. Oh, I love it. Mm. And it's long and it would look so good in all, you know. Yeah. And everything. All of these things. I'm right now, Marty. Just be quiet. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> That's great. I so we were talking about earrings before we move on, but I I know we yeah. so I wear statement earrings too, but I also love these smaller earrings for work. Like you know, every once in a while, I will wear these. Are probably like the biggest ones I wear because otherwise you, you can't do anything with them at work. But they have this is a big one compared to even the other tiny ones that I love. And um, one of my favorite ones is the new ceramic ones. Do you have those? Um, I don't have those here. I have those upstairs, but I um, wear them all the time, you know, since I got them, but they're so, it's like a ceramic little bitty circle with mm -hmm. half of it is gold as well. So it's really fun. It um, is so beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay. I am going to cover necklaces. Um, and then Daisy, I will turn it over to you and anything else you want to share in terms of artisan stories and how to partner and that sort of thing. Um, and if there are other pieces that you guys want to see in person, um, like I said, we can share some photos of those closer, or I could even go live 
um, or post a video again tomorrow if you want to kind of see them in a video more up close. Um, but I just love that we're getting to connect and to do this. So for the Can next we talk one, about pricing? Yes. Yeah. So I would say um, it depends on the material and then um, the intricacy of how it's made. Um, but all of the prices are directly on the website and we will post okay. that for sure. Um, but we have pieces, um, you know, as low as um, like the jewelry pieces as low as $16. And then we have pieces as high as over a hundred dollars, just again, just depending on the material, but that's a really okay. good question, Jill. Yeah. And the other thing that's really, um, um, I think noteworthy is um, each and every one of our artisans are given access to a dignified job and a livable wage. And so the business model is incredibly beautiful in that artisans are paid 50% upfront, which is completely unheard of in industry standards. Um, and all of their materials are provided. Um, and then once the pieces are purchased, um, they get the rest of the money. Um, so like, let's say something was shipped here and it was damaged, Noonday would absorb that cost. Or if you ever see like a great sale or a clearance on Noonday's website, take advantage of that because the artisans have been paid long ago, which is really great. So, um, but yes, I would love to highlight some necklaces for you. So here are a few of our simple necklaces from the Storyline collection. I know the lighting kind of makes it a little I hard. love all three of those. I'm a silver girl. I like silver a lot. Yes. So the bottom is um, the unified necklace, which is a globe. And then you can see the interlocked hearts. Mm. And then the belief necklace is a horizontal cross. Um, so I love these for a beautiful everyday piece. They're beautiful on their own but they're also gorgeous paired with other necklaces. So I'm actually wearing another one of those pieces. This is the sunrise necklace. Oh, I love it. Isn't that so fun? So this is, um, if you haven't had a chance to listen to the video or watch the video of the storyline collection, these women um, have actually come out of human trafficking situations, have been given um, counseling, rehabilitation, healing, and access to dignified jobs. So the stories are just incredible. And the purchase of these necklaces actually funds more rescues of women, which is pretty incredible. So I love these as a simple everyday. And then the necklace that I'm wearing right now is the Betty Rope necklace from Ethiopia. This is so versatile. I love that it is all one strand. So you can loop it as many times as you like. It looks gorgeous with any neckline. I had it um, wrapped twice, but you can do it um, really <clears throat> even three or four times. But you can also tell that these beads have a gold and silver look. So they're beautiful with all of your oh, really? metals. Oh. Isn't that fun? And so um, oh. these are made in Ethiopia. Um, and because Ethiopia has experienced so much war and civil unrest, um, there are bullet casings everywhere. And so the artisans have actually developed a way um, to melt down the bullets and to create these beads. And what the artisans have said is that it's been an incredibly healing process to take something that was a symbol of violence and oppression and to turn it into a symbol of hope and promise um, because it's created jobs and they're able to support and provide for their families. Um, so yeah, so those are, and that's another trend that we're seeing. So really the hair accessories, the statement earrings, and then the layering of necklaces. Um, and that's something else I love about the storyline is, I mean, they're so beautiful on their own, but even these three together are just gorgeous layered. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Daisy. I, I am going to, let me see if I can figure Here's, out. Excuse me. <clears throat> yes. There's a piece right to uh, your right. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> This is the Nexus necklace. Um, 
So these are actually hand carved water buffalo horn. Oh my goodness. From <laughs> Vietnam. Um, and so you have these inner linked, um, yeah, these links um, are all hand carved water buffalo horn. And it, I'm going to try it on for you, Jill, because it is such a gorgeous, oh, if I don't get caught, it is such a gorgeous statement piece. It's one of my favorite in the collection. And the color really, I mean, it goes with everything. Girl, that's beautiful. Because of all the different colors. Yeah. Isn't that so lovely? I love it. Me too. I'm so glad you said something. Okay, easy. This was so much fun. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Um, you don't happen to have the Addis bag, right? Or I do don't. You? Okay. I, I don't have that. Okay. See how so you. I guess we're saying goodbye because the live will also end when you go. Well, I have never done that. So I'm going to assign and leave, and it may give you the option to continue to go live. Okay. Otherwise, you will be able to at least share with Jill and Shannon. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Nice to see you, Jill. Nice seeing oh, you guys. I mean, Nicole's leaving, right? Yeah. Are we all? Yes. We're still here. No, we're not. We're not. Oh. Well, we're able to stay together. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> it looks like we're still. <laughs> like I can't believe like I'm looking at my childhood <laughs> friends. It looks like we're still alive. So um, we'll continue a little bit. I wanted to show you guys the little pieces, right? Because I also like big statement um, earrings, but this whole year we've just been wearing little pieces because masks and all the things. So um, I there's a video that we posted about the Mary, this uh, Mary making necklace and it's just been really fun to get to wear something that gives color but it's still dainty and small um you know it doesn't um but you can still pair it with even like a smaller necklace this is one of my other favorite ones that um just recently I got so it's been really fun to get to wear um this one even just like every day um, cause you know, we haven't, we've been wearing like PJs and stuff forever. So <laughs> it feels good to get dressed up. And then these are the little earrings I was telling you guys about that are just tiny and small and very light as well. Um, so we have a lot more things on the jewelry that we've posted already throughout the week. You can see different layouts with different outfits how to, you know, pair things um, as well. But one of the other things that we um, have are bags, which they are beautiful and they are leather and they're made in India and they are eth ethically sourced. Uh, it's just a beautiful leather. It, it weathers really well. Um, I have an older, an older one. Um, I don't think that's the same one that they're selling right now, but I'm, I, you know, I can show you guys that here in a little bit. And also there's a really good video on that we put up right before we started about all the different bags and how they are and how they're styled. So you can definitely take a peek at that. Um, you know, I want to say like, oh, what else do you want to see? But since I just started a month ago, I have very, you know, limited stuff so far. Nicole has a larger selection um so I'm glad you guys got to see those things so yeah I love that is that blue bag is it leather or is it something else um, I love the one that you love